I'm going to show today how to reskin your workplace application using Bootstrap CSS. So this is the default home page of Workplace. You see the nice theme, kind of greys and blues kicking about. Um, you see here it says that this was built using Bootstrap CSS. Now Bootstrap CSS is the same project that was started by Twitter for theming web UIs. You can get hold of and download various themes. So the themes I'm going to show you today were downloaded from this website. This is Bootswatch. Um, so if you look here, there's a whole bunch of the default themes that you can get hold of and download and install. There's also a couple of different websites that allow you to edit your theme. So here's one example where you can set the brand colors and the scaffolding information and it goes off and builds your theme. There's also stylebootstrap.info, similar kind of thing. So you can go through and customize your entire Bootstrap theme and then you can download them and integrate them. But I've already gone and downloaded some from Bootswatch. So I'm just going to show you how to copy those over and integrate those into your own application today. So you probably remember that there's a whole bunch of um, files within the application directory. So I'm in the app directory now, so this is the directory you download. Within here there's a bunch of files that run the application, but there's also a source folder. So if I look, go into source and the CSS subdirectory and have a look what's there. We see that there's all these files and there's bootstrap thememincss so this is a minified bootstrap theme CSS file so this is the one that the system will look at I've also downloaded a whole bunch of different ones here just to show you uh, what they are so to use these is pretty straightforward so I'm in Cerulean at the moment I want to use Cyborg so let's copy uh, the Cyborg theme over so copy Cyborg to min.css like this. So replace that and then go back here and just refresh my browser. Whoa, that's different. <laughs> so let's go through and have a look what this looks like. So you see our semantic search there. We have the same user interface elements, do a search. And we see it does work. It's very psychedelic. I don't think I could stay at this for probably too long. Um, but you know, you can see that the theme is applied. It's applied all over the uh, workplace interface and it does work. Wow, that's particularly gorgeous. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm definitely not going to demo that one. <laughs> so I'll look at the analytics page. So high charts itself isn't themed, but the uh, the container around it is. High charts is based on jQuery, doesn't really um, obey the same styles as the rest of it. Um, particularly attractive ones here. So yeah, I don't think we'll be uh, using that one. Let's try the next one. What do we have now? Uh, we have journal. So let's go and copy journal over. Okay, that's that done. So let's go um, back to this semantics page there. Oh, this is quite nice. This is quite simple. Yeah, I quite like that one. Fairly readable. Yeah, the pinks the, it could get... Um, well, this font could get tiring quite quickly I think um, that's not particularly good either um, yeah so not not a bad theme but not not great so let's go and switch to the next one next one's called readable well hopefully it will be let's find out yeah, refresh that page that's pretty good yeah you see the nice big obvious fonts there in use um, go back to the semantics page. So that looks pretty similar to the default, but with bigger fonts there. There we go. Search and have a look. Yeah, that looks pretty good as well. So slightly mm, washed out colours there. Not too sure about that. Uh, font sizes are quite big, which is pushing the navigation out there. So probably won't use that one. Yeah, let's go. Let's try simplex. See what that's like. You see how easy it is just to copy these things over. Refresh that. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's not too bad. I quite like the red. Uh, reminds me a bit of a Windows 3.1 <laughs> uh, theme though. Um, this is quite good. Yeah, that's quite nice and readable. I like the way that stands out there. Um, I'll look at the analytics page. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, next one. Let's have a look at Superhero. wonder what on earth that's going to mean. We read like a comic book. Let's go have a look. 
Oh wow, that's that's an that's quite interesting actually. I quite like the greys there. Um, so I'll look at the search page. I like the, how small the navigation is as well, but how big the important information is. That is a bit horrendous. Um, that's probably because there's pills within pills there, so it probably needs a bit of thinking of really. Um, yeah, that's that's not too bad. Numbers aren't too in your face, which is quite nice. Let's have a look at United. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. I quite like that. And again, um, if you've seen the way I dress, you probably shouldn't take my opinions as for style too far. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's quite nice, quite readable. I quite like how much that stands out as well. Oh, this is quite cool. Um, although the text down there does delete. <laughs> hides itself which isn't the best um, but yeah the main UI looks pretty good I quite like that I could get used to that and last but not ye least Yeti let's have a look at Yeti that's pretty nice quite dark menu uh, nice fonts nice and clear and stand out well Semantic page looks pretty good. You guys the analytics page? Yeah. That's all pretty good. I quite like that. I could get used to that. Um, the light blues. Alright, I suppose. Um, let's have a look at the configuration page though, just to make sure that it's not just a fluke, that everything does obey the same. I've not tried this out, incidentally. This is one of these pre sale situations where you never do a real demo. But as you can see, everything's using Bootstrap quite well. Um, well, that's big. <laughs> if ever you think these things are unreadable, and feel free to use one of these other themes. Um, but it all still works. <laughs> that's the main thing. Um, but hopefully, you know, I I get asked quite a lot why why on earth why pick cerulean? Cerulean's kind of boring. Well, let's have a look what it looks like compared to the other ones. Let's remind ourselves again. Oh, that's quite nice. <laughs> it's quite easy on the eye. The navigation's pretty straightforward. Yeah, everything reads quite well. So. That's why I use Cerulean as the default, <laughs> in case you were wondering. Um, it looks a lot better by default than uh, a lot of the other themes. But hopefully that's given you an idea as to how you can use themes in Bootstrap to easily customise your UIs for your customers and giving you a few ideas where to look for customizations. Uh, thanks very much for your time.